Vikrant here. Hey there, Arpita here. And today we shall be discussing. Tell us something about yourself. So uh, I'm Arpita. I'm from Bangalore, and currently I am pursuing my masters at FAU, Germany. What are you studying? Uh, I'm doing my medical engineering. Okay, and uh, how many years has it been? Uh, it's been two years and a few months now. And did you do your bachelor's in the same field? Yes, I did my bachelor's in medical electronics in Bangalore itself and then in other institutions. Okay, and how were your grades? My grades were pretty good and I was also one of the university rank holder. So that was fine. <laughs> <laughs> did you do any extra projects during your bachelor's? Uh, well, actually, during my bachelor's, uh, my bachelor project itself was, um, I mean, since I'm studying medical engineering, it was healthcare related. So we developed uh, glasses uh, and spectacle for blind people to help them read normal books and newspapers. Um. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, this, especially uh, in my uh, final semester, so all of our projects, like my entire team, we visited a village called Ramnagar. And uh, our inspiration was from the people that we spoke to the people and we inquired about the problems that they had with regards to their health. And every team came up with a project, uh, something that would help them out. And this was one of our projects. Okay, that sounds freaking amazing. After this, did you do any extra internships or was this already quite um, a lot? Well, actually, our project was funded by IEDC, that is uh, Innovation and Entrepreneurship Cell uh, in India. And uh, so, I, after I finished my bachelor's, I was working as a research assistant for six months for the same project. Uh, but then I just could not continue further, so I had to quit. And yeah. And then you decided to come to Germany or did you work first? Uh, no, I was working uh, in the meanwhile. I was working at HP. How long did you work for HP? Uh, I was working for three years. And what was your work then? Uh, well, I started as a technical support assistant and then I was into um, you know, customer uh, service and um, training, uh, soft skills and a lot of stuff. Okay, so yeah. this was more HR related or more technical related? Well, it was not actually related to what I studied. Uh, but then I, I mean, I also felt that it would be nice to improve my soft skills and also get some additional technical knowledge about computers and stuff. And also, uh, can I talk about my other offers? Like I was offered a job at uh, HCL and um, other companies, but the offer letter was quite late. By the I just could not wait for longer, and then I started working here. All right, and then after three years at HP, you decided, okay, this is it. I want to do my masters. Uh, not really. I wanted to do my masters right after my bachelor's itself, but. Um, I had to like um, arrange some financial stuff and all that. So I was working for a while in between. Okay, and uh, then did you start learning German already or did you start ge learning German after you came here? Well, I just had the basic skills, okay. but after coming here, I just took some courses at the university. And uh, right now I just finished my A2.2. Okay, yeah. why Germany? Well, good question. Um, it's always been Germany for me. Like, I don't know why all my friends had this fantasy of going to the US and other countries, but I always wanted to come here, like, right from my, I think, 12th standard or something. The love for beer. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> all right. Um, now, how is your life in Germany? How is it different from your life back in Bangalore? Um, I would say, I have learned a lot being in Germany and you will learn to be independent and how good it is to, how good you feel about yourself when you're handling everything on your own. What differences do you see socially or culturally between your life in Bangalore and how uh, you feel here? Well, back in Bangalore it was like, you 
So I'm the only child from my parents, like completely pampered kid. But here it's it's quite um, nice, I would say, and also it makes you realize how you feel as an adult and how it is to be independent and working on your own, managing everything on your own, handling your finances and a lot of stuff. So it's a great learning experience. Yeah, of course. Okay. All right. Uh, once again, thanks. Thanks for being here in this video. Oh and we'll Thank you. see more of her in the next video. Bye-bye. Yeah.